viewers, welcome back to yet another episode of the Peter Peter Show. So today we are going to look into matters elections 2022. Did Baba lose fairly? What next? Do we go the Mandamano way? Do we go back to the poll? What is going to happen in this country? To help us understand what awaits Kenya in the near future is one young man who campaigned for Azimio in Mount Kenya region under the Jubilee Party. Let us get to know him and what exactly he's doing momentarily. Karibu sana. Wanakuita nani salimia mafans? Hello viewers. My name is uh, Ndulu Bonface. I'm a wengu wanajua kama Boni Wajuja. Okay, I'm a youth reader and a Jubilee Azimio Coalition in Mount Kenya. I'm happy to be your guest today and I also urge you all to view subscribe and share to the peter peter show today we're going to tackle the current affairs and also the political situation and the political pressure in our country thank you very much nice so uh pale jakaranda baba alisema alibiwa wewe kama kiongozi wa vijana chini ya jubilee party do you think you lost fairly mulipoteza Okay, according to me and according to what I okay, I followed the whole process, the whole procedure kutoka mwanzo mpaka ikanounciwa according to me and what I observed sidhani tulipoteza fiari. Okay, there were there were a lot of uh, election and injustice, a lot of impunity and corruption and okay, the election, the whole process it wasn't fair according to me. Jeremiah Kenya alisema kwamba mahali ambapo kura nyingi za baba zilibiwa ni Mount Kenya. Uh, mbapo alisema tumi, over 2 million votes za baba zilibiwa hapa Mount Kenya. Wewe kama kiongozi wa vijana hapa Mount Kenya na ambaye ulikuwa katika mstari wa mbele kuhakikisha kwamba baba amechaguliwa. Do you think hizo figures ambazo Jeremiah Kenyu anataja na ambaye ni sec gen wa chama chako ni za ukweli? Okay, according to me I like to be a okay transparent person. Na nasema ukweli. Okay, person I don't have the actual figures and yamesema and I don't have the okay si kusina sasa zile za IBC. But me, Kenya, the same, the, the results that were announced by Chebukati, they want, they want, has it been fair? For example, when I came to Mount Kenya, Kulingana Venya, okay, it was the first time Baba Alienda could penetrate in Mount Kenya. Let's call it, what you say, Mokweli, what you say, Mokweli. It was the first time Baba Kupanda Mulima, na ata kama haku maliza pale juu aliweza at least kukwea nusu na kukwea Mount Kenya nusu baba kwa ke ilikuwa it was a score because ukiangalia kwa nyingine kwenye amekuwa kama send kama coast northeastern ukambani and wherever baba amekuwa kiongoza na pia this time bado aliongoza so it was the first Mount Kenya and that why in other our opponent ama wale wengi tuko tupigana nao walijaribu sana ukiangalia wakati wa uchaguzi wow they were focused it was in Mount Kenya na okay nikiguzia kidogo Kulingana na mimi, walikuwa nakuja Mount Kenya because ukiangalia even the whole of the campaign period, walikuwa nataka ni kama wataka kwaibisha uhuru, ni kama walikuwa nataka uhuru. So they wanted uh, to punish ama to show the, uh, either the world ama the, uh, even in our country, uhuru walikuwa nataka kumpeleka nyumbani na kimadharo ama kumuonyesha, even without uhuru they can survive politically ama they can they can endeavor in the political 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 field so nikiangalia sana sana a lot of impunity a lot of uh, injustice they were done in Mount Kenya and that's all ipata viongozi sana wengi wa jubilee they lost in Mount Kenya from MCAs, governors mp women rep and all over so yeah. uh, kama viongozi wa, kama MCAs, uh, mps na senators walipoteza wale ambao walisema wana chama cha jubilee ama chama kingine walipoteza katika Mount Kenya how then could have people voted for baba ati mna vote president ni azimio lakini zingine waka vote elsewhere okay the same same nimesema the whole election the whole process it wasn't fair so if i say so na maanisha kutoka pale juu kutoka baba mpaka chini haikuwa fair. Ulikuwa unapata mtu amechagua baba kuna wenye okay kuna wengine walikuwa wachagua sio tu kwa wengine kuchagua mchanganyiko hiyo kulingana na wenye mtu ana ana believe in a strategy yake ama ni technique yake ya kuchagua. Ulikuwa unapata kama mtu amechagua baba mtu amechagua UDA kuna wenye kuliona kama Kiambu Kiambu town kwa Jude Jomo for instance and it was there ilikuwa mpaka even public domain. Kulikuwa walikuja right around kusema sijuo kuna kura sijui elfu sijui 10 na ngapi what they 15000 if i'm not wrong. Kuna 15000 sijui zisabio kimakosa ama zikuwa zimesabio kitu kama hiyo. So if that that is just one consistency ya ilikuwa inaonekana na hizo ilikuwa ilikuwa na pia wenyewe wali accept. So if that thing happened in the whole of Mount Kenya ndo unapata kura nyingi za jubilee zindo walikuwa nafanya vile ile kile ile ile kroga nyu walikoroga and 
what I can say, personally, Ilianza from national to uh, to the grassroots level. Yeah. Eh, chama cha Jubilee kimekuwa kikionekana kwamba kinasukuma sana shughuli ambazo zinaendelea za maandamano ama mikutano ambayo imekuwa ikipangwa na e, mrengo wa, wa zimio na jana walikuwa pale Jakaranda next week on Sunday watakuwa pale Kibra. Wewe ulikuwa Jakaranda na utenda Kibra juu inasemekana e, wale ambao wamebaki katika chama cha Jubilee na ambao wanaenda hii maandamano ni wewe na Jeremiah Kion ni ukweli ama ni uongo? Personally jana sikuweza kuhudhuria Jakaranda for my own reasons but i can confirm on sunday kibra mimi itakuwepo kibra will be there because nimesema all this process kulingana venye mnasema mnasema ni maandamano sijui na cause sijui what as sijui kuwa kunini biashara za watu but hiyo si ukweli what we are doing what we are trying to seek is just public opinions ama the suggestion so that we can fight for justice and that thing has been there and mtu mkenya wote mzarendo and someone of good will of this nation lazima apiganie haki yake lazima apiganie for justice in whatever way so mimi kama mimi kama kiongozi wa vijana ama kama mimi kama bonface ama kama bonwe juja mi believe the election wasn't fair na tutatumia jiota what we are doing we are doing peaceful demonstration ama peaceful we are just it, what we can call them peaceful consultation public consultation so we are just seeking public public opinions ndipo tutaweza kupata haki E, watu wengi wanajiuliza what is the end game at kwa sababu baba amesema kwamba in two weeks amepea ultimatum UN na mashirika ya, ya nje kwamba yakuja wafanye audit kwa zile uchaguzi ama tetesi ambazo wanazitoa na akasema kwamba after two weeks watafanya mambo ambayo hayajaionekana hii nchi ha, mambo haya ni gani what are you planning to do okay personally juu sijako sijaka chini na baba nikajua Kenya na plan kufanya lakini kama ni kiongozi wetu kama baba si ni kama baba is our leader na ni kiongozi wetu Kenya tuna Kenya tunaamini after the two weeks because ukiangalia okay, saizi all the parastatals and solitude say so ama all the institution wanakani kama wame they have been been brushed by the current administration so if we seek the justice if we seek justice in our nation hatuoni kama tutaipata and that's why we have been trying to tag all the united nations african union ndipo saweza kuingilia ndipo saweza kuja kutatua swala hili lakini kuna kitu moja naweza hakikisha na baba alisema na pia mimi mwenyewe na hakikisha na mimi nasema if baba decide to go that way personally kama aboni i won't support that thing we are not we don't want any handshake and we are not going to sit or to to have a dialogue with sub with someone mwenye alichukua haki yetu ama mwenye alitutendea kinyume na haki ya wakenya more than i think more than 12 million kenyans so he went against the more than 12 million Kenyans so what to catch in we don't want a handshake we are not going to retreat we are going to fight till we fight till we find justice kuna viongozi wa jubilee na ambacho ni chama chako uh, 11 ambao walikuwa state house the same same day ambayo baba alisema atakuwa kule Jakaranda uh, what is your opinion on uh, art kufanya kuonekana ni kama wameanza kupotea kutoka kwa chama ambacho kiliwapeleka bungeni na wengine wakakuwa nominated kama Sabina Chage what is your opinion kama uh, youth leader ndani ya chama cha Jubilee are you going to take actions on uh, some of these leaders okay personally what i can say proper action they should be taken kulingana na katiba ama sheria za chama kwa sababu ukiangalia tu kama hao wao ndo tunasema pia kwa kampeni walikuwa natuvuta nyuma juu ukiangalia mtu kama huyo kama huna mwito kama wewe uko unataka pena jubilee from the word go unge quit kuna watu wengi sana walikuit and we stood as a party na tukaeneza manifesto yetu na tukaenda tukasukuma kadi yetu wetu na wenye walishinda wakashinda wenye tulifanywa wenye tulifanywa wakafanywa so me what i can say those people from the word go they were not our supporters ama hawakuwa our supporters wa jubilee so wenye naza sema kila mtu wako na haki kufuata kulingana na matako ya roho yake ama kulingana na mawazo yake ama kulingana na maoni yake but personally ninasema na naweza omba chama iwachukulie hatua kulingana na katiba na sheria za chama kama chama yenyewe hatujaamua tuna, tuna we are, okay because from the word go we sign an agreement as an azimio all the parties that are under azimio so kuja kupata after 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 election ama after nomination ama those those who are wenye mekono nominated kwa sababu nataka ni kama nataka kuruka ile mrengo mwingine kama nataka kuruka si tunawaomba tu waende chamani na watu waje chama yetu tuchague mtu mwingine mtaenda kusimamia chama yetu bungeni ama huko ama ni huko yala mtu wako na mwito wa chama ama mtu wenye ana atasimamia nini zetu kama chama neno la mwisho ukipatana na mtu anaitwa Wafula Chebukati ungemwambia nini Personally okay sitaki unajua wavroche bukati is older than me is my elder 
he's also okay in one way or the other he has sacrificed for this nation but kulingana hapa akija alifanya kazi mzuri kutoka pale mwanzo but akija kumalizia ameharibu sisi kama wakikuyu tunasemanga kerigeri leo ya safari okay ama mwisho wa safari matters a lot more than foundation ama mwanzo wa safari so amefanya kazi mzuri baada akija kumalizia ametuangusha kuonge ukweli because this nation is bigger than an individual hii nchi ukiangalia wa Kenya the 42 million ama more than 42 million Kenyans their wish ama their will cannot be turned by just a greedy ama one individual mwenye ako na ukorofi wa kibinafsi yeah neno la mwisho kwa wa Kenya na wafuasi wa azimio mimi kwanza kama azimio first of all nashukuru my my party leader that is Uhuru Mwigi Kenyatta na i want to clear the air kuna hizo rumors zilianza jana nimeanza kuziona jana kwa mtandao kwa Facebook kwa Twitter nimeona zikinyesha na our opponents juu huru ndo na sponsors juu huru ndo wanafanya huru ndo wanafanya huru amefanya kazi mingi ame sacrifice huru has done a lot to this nation and i said yesterday if the history of this nation can be written today huru can secure himself a whole chapter huru has done a lot to this nation so wacha watu waachane na uhuru wacha waje ku drag huru is not in politics huru is not in active politics no in uh, in active politics huru alipewa kazi na Afrika kusimamia mambo ya amani huko DLC and whatever kama kiongozi sasa wa Afrika si kiongozi wa Kenya so mambo ya siasa zetu za kikindani ki, tumwache kando tumuondoe waje tuache uhuru apumzike na amani a relax akure retirement benefits zake so naomba kwa amani na wakenya wote tuache uhuru ina tumwache tu apumzike amefanya kazi kubwa waacha sasa apumzike waje kule matunda ya kazi yake the next thing i can say sisi kama azimio we are not going to retreat we are not going to surrender until we fight justice na hiyo ndo mkenya any kenyans of god will will fight until you, you fight you find justice so naomba kwa amani naomba pia my fellow azimio tutakapoenda those public consultation naomba tuzifanya kwa amani na utulivu ndipo sasa tutaweza kupata haki juu hata ukija na vita huwezi pata haki ni ukweli ama ni uongo hatuwezi pata haki. So tunaomba na pia wa fellow opponent najua lazima ndio atatupiga but pia wao tu wapige tu kwa amani na with facts. We want to table the facts. Jua hata ukiangalia kuna mambo mengi sana walisema walisema watafanya in 100 days. All of them unajua na kujanga tu na hadithi za Rinacha, Siju, Woda, Bunwasi zote zinakunda kitu wanatimiza. If you go to the manifesto, the 100 days, they have not implemented even a single thing and i can i can start, i can assure you they said wakisa walikuwa nasema sijui wakiweka biblia unga ile rudi 70 bob hapo nao ile rudi 70 bob walikuja tena tumeuliza wameanza kutuambia oh sijui sijui mtu pesa sijui huo sijui uhuru alifanya sijui kila kitu kwanza wanaekelea uhuru waache uhuru kwa amani sasa hizi ndio wako na deep state ndio walikuwa nasema sijui kuna state capture deep state zote ndio wako nazo ziko na kina gashagwa ziko na kina uh, the president so sasa hizi venye walikuwa nasema uhuru kwa wazitumia si pia watumie tu watu wangushie tu haja ya mkenya wa kawaida ni unga irudi chini mafuta irudi chini usafiri mambo ya usafiri irudi chini uchumi urudi chini kila kitu urudi chini mkenya akirudi hatai kujua kama walifanya ama uhuru ama walifanya maya walifanya nini walileta lini Ours as Kenyans ama the Kenyans for the time being before we pad, tupate haki yetu wacha wangushie wa Kenya unga wangushie wa Kenya gharama ya maisha and we shall go, be, we sh the nation we shall be good lakini at least kuna hustler fund anyway that is a scam <laughs> uh, hustler fund alizunguka huko akisema hustler fund mtu atapewa hustler fund utarudisha after kuingia tena amegeuka amesema oh tena kumekuja kurudisha rudisha 14 days na kuna kitu moja nilikuwa nauliza and my friend one of my friend akiongea kwa national tv aliuliza nimekuja nimekupea 500 500 500 shillings because watu wengi wenye wengi wana flow from 500 to i think to 2000 na 2000 wale sasa even 1000 ni wale ukipea mtu sasa hizo nikikupea 1000 utafanya nini shughuli sio wote tunaweza uwa tunaweza uza mayai sio tunaweza uza smoki sio tunaweza fanya at least give someone a valued money mtu hata ukimkuja kumuitisha odeni at least ame hiyo kwa hiyo muda wenye mmempea at least ameweza ku, 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 ku multiply that thing like 20000 ama 30000 at least you could be in a good position but in the lakini mtakataa kulipa shilingi 500 elfu 20 ndio mpalipa kuna for now hatujafika hata kulipa hawajatupea tukakosa kulipa watupea 20000 ama watupea 10000 at least wasemange tuliwapea wakosa kuli kulipa the 500 the 500 shillings hatujakosa kulipa lakini sasa ukipatia mtu 500 shillings hizi unga ni 120 mchele zijuni pesa ngapi that hiyo peke yake unanua tu unga sukari na mchele inaisha 
hiyo siku inaisha hivyo hata mafuta yenyewe hakuna so at least pea mtu pesa iko na reasonable yenye utaweza kumrudisha deni at least pia unakuna deni unaweza kuja 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 kudai sawa sawa tuta hope baba ata implement ile yake 1600 so finally word of the day <laughs> zakayo mtoza ushuru see you next time